Monthly September 2020 Horoscope for Zodiac Sign Leo. Not usually the most glamorous chart sector. Your sixth house of health and service receives a jaw-dropping makeover on the 21 courtesy of Jupiter stationing direct in Capricorn. This is usually a great time to search for a new job or really put some energy into self-improvement. All your charity from this past year should be repaid back to you in blessings throughout the rest of the year. But you'll also need to keep up the good work. Take pride in your usefulness. You'll receive great joy by lending someone a hand. And Jupiter is sure to reward your efforts now that he's moving forward again. The earthy Virgo new moon on the 17 is the perfect opportunity to reset your second house. Because this sector of your chart rules your physical environment. The senses. And pleasure. It's time to get organized about the things that make you feel good. You'll want to spend some quality time with your budget and income flow around this time as there's a fantastic chance to increase your wealth. Luckily, your mind will be buzzing with ideas after the sun enters your third house of communication on the 22. Over the next few weeks, you really have the opportunity to make long-lasting balanced connections just by speaking what's on your mind. Keep in mind, it's still possible for your emotions or feelings to cloud your brain. Especially once Mercury enters the Scorpio waters of your fourth house on the 27. Although there's usually not much sense dwelling on the past. This is actually the perfect time to make connections between events that have already happened and the visions you have for your future. You might have been too busy to keep in contact with your parents the past few weeks. And no one would blame you. But this is a great week to send a mentor figure a quick text at the least. Comfortable in your sixth house of service. Saturn stations direct on the 29. For the rest of the year. You're relentless in fulfilling what you feel is your duty to yourself and to the world at large. Leo. You never were one for playing small. But you don't know anything about the larger stage yet. As you approach October. Know you're shooting for greater and grander things. The larger the light. The larger the shadow at least from September's point of view. Although you will face formidable challenges this month, there's nothing to be worried about. And there are plenty of great opportunities to be found between the lines. Really if anything's going to give you trouble throughout September, it will be your inability to express your anger and dissatisfaction without making a scene. Keep in mind that a lion doesn't need to roar to be recognized as the king of the jungle. Right up your alley. The Pisces full moon on September 2 shines a bright light on your legacy. This could be an emotionally heavy period though as the topics of the 8th house are often dark and uncomfortable. While you can see the full reach of your personal power, you may sense trauma and crisis that is lurking just around the corner. Don't let these undercurrents scare you. If you encounter skeletons coming out of the closet, it's best that you face these head-ons with a mission to transform them into opportunities. Mental processes are accelerated after the fifth and you're able to make snap decisions with inspiring confidence. For this, you can thank Mercury's transit through Libra and your third house. The highlight of September for you is the six when Venus enters your own sign and your first house. Over the next few weeks, you're more social and attractive than before. What you need regarding pleasure and love takes priority. And you might even have a hard time telling yourself no. Others find it difficult to resist your charm now too. If you're on the prowl for new love, this is a great time to search out your next show-stopping romance. Even those of you in happy relationships can benefit from the energy as your loved one showers you with attention. Single or taken. You will have to deal with a challenge this September. Once the nine rolls around, Mars the planet of action slows to a stop in your ninth house of wisdom and long journeys. Mars rules how we take initiative and how we deal with anger. So when he stations retrograde, you're in for 8 to 10 weeks of frustration. It could feel like you can't get any momentum. Like you're running in place and digging yourself into a hole at the same time. The main issue here is how much you want to get done. Try taking a look at the bigger picture without getting bogged down with the details and experiment with different ways of reaching your goals. <music>